with you guys. So I'm going to be doing my nails in today's video. We're going to be going from this super short damaged nails that I'm trying to grow out to this. This is Builder Gel with a blue polish on top and a top coat and I'll share what I'll be using. I'm going to be trying some new nail polishes. I ordered some new sets from the brand DND on Amazon and as you can tell each one has two so you get the gel polish plus the regular polish which I love because I use a regular one on my toes. It's quick, it's easy. Usually with the toes I feel like I can have nail regular nail polish on there. It won't chip and it will last a very long time. So I got this fiery red. I think this is called Lava. A milky white and then this blue right here which is what I'm going to be using in today's video and then I also got a base coat and a top coat duo and I'm going to be using my in hype products right here so I'm going to be using my rubber base as a base coat and the reason why I love this stuff is because when it's cured it actually adds so much strength to the natural nail versus a regular base coat and then on top of it, I'm going to apply structure gel, which is essentially builder in a bottle. And this method is the only way that I can do an extension on my nail. And it will last me weeks upon weeks upon weeks. And it won't lift. Because the problem with me is when I see lifting or something, like when I did the Gelix method, it would lift a lot for me on the edges, even a little bit of lifting. And then I would pick at it. I'm somebody that has a really bad habit of picking at it. And then I just end up ripping it off. And it was just so bad. With this, I actually leave it alone. Like I can actually leave it alone. And this is the outcome. So once again, we're going from this very damaged short nails. Like I had to cut them down because as they're growing out, they were just so brittle and so damaged to this right here. So quite a difference. Let's get started. Somebody asked me in a comment for an overhead shot. So I'm trying to use a tripod and show you guys from like an overhead as if I was looking down at my own nails, how I would do this. So the first step is obviously to prep the nails, push back the cuticles, scuff the surface a little bit to get rid of any shine. You don't want to do too much to damage it. I didn't really do too much because it already damaged, so I'm not trying to make it worse. And then I like to use isopropyl alcohol in a little bottle, spray each nail to get rid of any excess oils. And then I have these lint-free wipes. Everything that I get off of is off of Amazon and wipe them down. And then I forgot my Young Nails primer, but usually I'll apply that. That's an air dry formula. It's a non-acid adhesion, so it really helps with any lifting. I don't feel like getting it right now. I'm already nice and comfortable and all set up. So I'm going to skip that step, but I would recommend a primer as it does help with any lifting if that's something that you struggle with. Now on to the extensions. You're going to need these nail forms here. I get like a pack of 100 or something off of Amazon, and I just get the basic kind. I don't get like the fancy butterfly ones. I zoomed in a little bit more, but you want to make sure that your natural nail is sitting on top of the nail form. And once it's nice and snug, you go ahead and pinch the bottom, secure the sides onto your finger so it doesn't move, and just like pinch the bottom so it fits. My nails are a little flatter, so I kind of have to like adjust it. But essentially, you want it sitting nice and flush against the nail. Now what I'm going to do is grab my rubber base and I prefer this 100 times over a regular base coat. It's just, I don't know, something about this, it sticks to my nail, doesn't lift, and it just works so well. You can also use this to strengthen your natural nail if you already like the length. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit and create a very thin layer all along my natural nail. Make sure you're not flooding the cuticles or getting it on the skin. Once I have a very thin layer on my natural nail, I'll grab a little bit more and kind of create an extension because once again, when this cures, it's actually pretty structured. So I use this as a base coat for the extension as well. And it's okay if it's not perfect because you're gonna file and shape them later. I usually like to create them a little bit longer because then I can file them down versus making them shorter and then filing them down and then they're too short. Another tip is on the sides here, you wanna make sure you're connecting where your natural nail meets the extension. So you don't want a gap there, otherwise it can break right at this point right here. Sorry, my fingers are like so shaky, I can't do anything about it, I don't know why. Maybe it's all the coffee, who knows. Once you have an extension with the base coat, again, a very thin layer, nothing too thick just a thin layer. I'm going to go ahead and flash cure this for 10 seconds because I'm going to work on the extension for the other nails. So I like to work on all four of these at the same time. With the thumb, I do it separately just because of how it's angled. I don't want the gel to move. So I'm going to flash cure this under my lamp here because it has a 10 second setting for 10 seconds. 
And I'm doing this so that the gel doesn't move while I work on an extension for the other nail. All right, now repeat these exact same steps for all the other nails. So once again, take your nail form. Right now my nails are so short, I had no choice but to cut them down. And it's definitely harder to apply nail forms when your nails are so short, but it's not impossible. I just have to make sure it's like really snug against the nail. And I'm just gonna repeat these exact steps for all the nails. I just realized that the camera wasn't recording as I was talking for the past minute and I started working on this nail here but once the nails are fully cured do not remove the nail forms just yet because this layer is too thin so you might end up breaking the extension you just created but once that's done you want to move on to builder in a bottle which is the structure gel here I apply a nice thin layer on, from cuticle to tip of this structure gel also make sure not to get it on the cuticles on the skin anything like that and I start off with a very thin layer first. Once I have the thin layer on, I grab some more. And what I do is kind of create rainbow U-shaped motions back and forth. And I work on building up the nail because right now it's really flat and also building up an apex. Grab some more and do a drop kind of down the center. The nice thing about this formula is that it is self-leveling. So you can go ahead and flip it upside down for a few seconds and it will self-level. As you can tell, it has a nice apex. And then I'm actually going to flash cure this so it doesn't move. Steps. All right, now that that's flash cured, I'm gonna repeat those same steps for the rest of the nail. So what I do first is apply a very thin layer of that structure gel. And I do this from cuticle to tip. Make sure not to flood the cuticles or get it on the skin. That is what can cause lifting. And you just, in general, never want to get gel on your skin. I had to learn the hard way. And then once I have a thin layer, I'll go in with some more. And go with like these rainbow back and forth motions to start building up the nail and creating an apex. And if you need some more, go in with another drop and create a drop down the center. And then I kind of flip it upside down to have it self-level a little bit. Once you're happy with the form, go ahead and flash cure that. Usually for flash curing, I use this lamp right here. I zoomed out a little bit so you guys can see, but I use this because this way I only focus on one nail, so I'm not constantly curing the other nails as I work on them. I just, I don't know, I was a little bit lazy today, so it is what it is. When I'm on the last nail, I cure all of them together for 60 seconds. And then once they're fully cured, you can go ahead and remove the nail form since now the nail is pretty structured, it should not break. And when you remove it, pull downward. I also like to do my dominant hand first because this is the most annoying and I figured get it out of the way, do it first. But what I'm going to do now is spray some isopropyl alcohol, get rid of that sticky layer because I'm going to work on shaping and filing them and smoothing out the surface. Because as you can tell right now they are pretty messy, like especially this one, I got pretty lazy with it. So what you want to do is shape them and then buff the surface and this is what that is going to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. This is probably the most annoying part because it takes the longest and I enjoy it the least. Once they're shaped and filed, go ahead and spray them with isopropyl alcohol and wipe them down with a lint-free wipe. And now your nails are ready for gel polish and a top coat. Or you can leave them like this and just add a top coat, but I'm gonna use this electric blue and then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds and apply the top coat here and then this is essentially going to be the end result okay guys this is the end result here i love this electric blue i think it's such a gorgeous color I love the red as well, and then I got a milky white. Everything is from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I'm happy to finally have some nails, and this way I can grow them out. And in however many months' time, hopefully my nails will be back to a healthy state. But this is how I do my nails at home. And the only method that really works for me 
to grow them out. As it grows out, I usually do a fill, and then sometimes I'll do another fill. Fills are definitely easier. But yeah, this is the end result. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you did, and I'll see you guys in future videos.